imposed on the working people of this country. And a company such as this has been involved in advising the government on the disastrous bank guarantee that has basically bankrupted this country. And for that they got 5 million euro, even though their advice was clearly incorrect. They also advised on the purchase of the glass bottle company by taxpayers' money, uh, another ridiculous decision which, which they got well paid for. So the reason we're here is to highlight the financial institutions that have so far <coughs> managed to escape the protests of the ordinary population of Dublin and to highlight the fact that this won't be the first and only occupation of the financial institution. We intend to carry out this countrywide and let the financial people know that they're in their sights as well as the politicians, the councils, the revenue chambers and anybody else who we consider and the people consider to be imposing austerity, disastrous policies of austerity on ordinary working people in this country. I was mandated to come here uh, today at a meeting on Tuesday night by the members of the Fingless Valley Monk campaign against the household and water charges. Um, we're here to show uh, the, uh, the financial institutions that have been complicit in um, support for uh, you know, the situation that's developed in this country. And what we're, what we're saying is that we're, we're here just to show a token protest but to put people on warning that there are thousands of people around this country that are very angry at this situation at the moment. You have the other night the disability grants being taken from people while our politicians and I'm sure the uh, private financial institutions are on hefty, hefty um, uh, wages and everything else. And uh, the ordinary person is being yet again, and I use, use the word screwed yet again, is because we're being screwed to the wall. And if we do not get up and march on these institutions in a peaceful fashion, so be it. If things get out of hand, it won't be our fault. We're here with respect for the workers, and we hope that people will respect us. But we're asking people from around the country who are not involved in the campaigns yet to come out and get involved because nothing will change. There's a, 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 a communication tax or whatever Pat Rabbit wants to call it. He's going to implement that now. How much more do they think they can push people? People haven't got, haven't got 100 euros to pay their household charge. They're not paying their property tax. People are in negative equity. I know this is like a mantra now, but we cannot pay. We cannot pay anymore, and we're not paying anymore. So build bigger prisons and take us all away, because that's what you'll have to do in the end. are directly responsible for the austerity that's been imposed on ordinary working people in this country. PwC were one of the advisors to the government on the disastrous bank guarantee that basically bankrupted this country. They were also the advisors to the corrupt Dublin Docklands Authority who bought the glass bottle site with taxpayers' money at vastly inflated prices and basically bankrupted the Docklands Authority as well. PwC got well paid for both those jobs. They got five million for advising the government, or ill advising the government, as we may say, on the bank guarantee. And throughout all the protests against the household tax and the property tax, never once has any of the financial institutions been targeted. This is the first of the, of the beginning of a campaign of making it known that the financial institutions are to blame and that they will be targeted in the future. IBEC, the employers, the greedy employers organisation, are holding a conference next door that's partly supported by PwC and they're giving the platform to Barroso, Enda Kenny and Eamon Gilmore. They're also giving the platform to 400 CEOs of multinational companies who again are out to screw their workers and we're highlighting the very fact that they're doing so in the convention centre which the taxpayer is still paying millions upon millions upon millions every single year and will be for decades to come due to the corruption of both the financial institutions and the Fianna Fáil government that give them a licence.
to print money for themselves. And let's not forget, when we see the polls giving Fianna Fáil a bounce, let's not forget that Fianna Fáil are directly responsible for this crisis, for the bankruptcy of this country and the corrupt Fianna Fáil government that have us in the state that we are and the two parties now in coalition who have continued the madness of austerity that's driving this economy into the ground and as always it's working people and the unemployed pensioners the ordinary person who are continued to suffer going to take this. We are a token representation of that here in Dublin because we're uh, cognizant of the fact that if too many people come into a small place like this, the workers and that kind of maybe get a little bit scared and that. But we're just putting people on notice that this is the start of a, 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 a upsurge in the campaign. Yeah. It's been stepped up and we're asking everybody, including our, uh, our Garda Shikana, who have been uh, quite fair in the last number of uh, uh, occupations that we have been involved in. I know in some areas that uh, one or two of the young souls are uh, playing close by, but a little bit, um, I, I can't think of the word that would be nice in the presence of the guard, so I just got a little bit out of hand, I can say. <coughs> but um, we're just asking for their support on this. They are going to prove the pro factor is pro too. And we're asking them to realise how frustrated we are as, uh, as a people that have no um, agreement and anything put in place that safeguards us with anything. So we are the ones that have to uh, get out of the street. So we need to do that now. And we need to do it in huge, huge numbers. When the Sahal goes out, go out, join your campaign show them that this is not going to happen. We are not going to be screwed to the wall anymore. I don't, my daughter is 22 and when she is in her 60s, this debt will be paid back if we keep on this road. I'm not prepared to leave my children and grandchildren with this debt. Are you? Very reasonable. Uh, can't say that he won't be back, but thank you very much for uh, tolerating us anyway.